Why we need early warning system? Because uh, the Ukai Dam is situated uh, in north side from Surat around 95 kilometers. And whenever the water release from the dam, there is only eight hours we have to reaction. So we need more respite time to reaction. So by this early warning system established, we provide timely and effective information on flood hazard. We can reduce hazard intensity and can stop hazard convert into the disaster. Reduce magnitude of disaster. Support city administration, uh, administration to prepare for effective last mile response <coughs> well in advance. Surat has a two type of floods. There is a riverine flood and there is a creek flood. Riverine flood, it came uh, from dam management because our most of the river catchment area in Maharashtra region. There is a 80% catchment area in Maharashtra region. So whenever the heavy rainfall uh, uh, during monsoon season, we get it flooding. You can see there is a, uh, the, that pink line uh, is our Khadi area. Our aim is established uh, behind this system is end to an early warning system to reduce the intensity of floods and resultant flood damage to Surat city under the, uh, the ACCRN phase 3. Actually, uh, there was a US uh, one NGO uh, declared uh, start network, Asian cities climate resilient network. Under this uh, project, we had started this initiative. This is the overall catchment area of Dapi. You can see the Maharashtra has a almost 80% uh, catchment area. And whatever the rainfall uh, during monsoon season we got in Maharashtra, we suffered finally with floods. What is the metrology? Actually, we are end to an early warning system means we are starting from forecasting, uh, sorry, pre uh, precipitation forecasting to uh, public dissemination, public information dissemination. And we are uh, helping, uh, uh, taking help from the center government, from CWC, IMD, state government from education department, and uh, local government as well. This is the, how our uh, framework Main step, actually we are engaged with many uh, city stakeholders, local level and street level. We are uh, promoting one NGO like uh, Surat Climate Change Trust. We are looking at uh, climate and whatever the uh, climate, uh, uh, the flood like or disaster like uh, any events, we are looking under this uh, NGO. Early warning system also initiated in under this uh, uh, trust. This is the forecast issued. Actually, we get uh, five days before. And on this uh, forecast sheet, we are meeting with the commissioner, police commissioner, uh, state authority, and collector of the R district. They are discussion and taken uh, decision to release water in advance from the Ukai Dam. So we can easily manage whatever the next water will come in uh, Ukai Dam. We also, uh, for control urban flood, we had installed 10 automatic weather station in city area. This is a map of uh, all the AWS installed. We are uh, Finding fire parameters, uh, we are getting information for fire parameters, temperature, humidity, wind speed, wind direction, and rainfall. Due to this uh, automatic weather station, we get real-time uh, information for rainfall. So we easily simulate with our storm network, and we are evacuate the low-lying area people who are getting uh, water logging problem. This is the uh, information we get from the AWS. And we alert uh, through SMS, administration, decision maker, public, 
all the uh, all the end users also we also every year we updated our disaster management plan including uh, information of given to mlas municipal councillors uh, urban community uh, department angarwadi staff medical uh, practitioners even ngos and volunteer organization the we are before onset uh, monsoon uh, we had start meeting with the uh, uh, ward level zone level every community level with ngos and get the updated this plan we also uh, if we are fail in forecast we had plan b that we know that uh, what is the if four like you six water release from the ukai dam which area will submerge so uh, we are uh, using this uh, scenario in city 4 lakh 5 lakh 6 lakh 7 lakh 8 9 to 12 lakh q uh, sets we also uh, prepared a ward wise dmp which include the uh, the variation of the whatever the uh, water release from the ukai dam and which area has submerged this uh, we are also mapping a uh, critical infrastructure like private hospital government hospital urban health centers ambulance location police station fire station public buildings industrial area slum location private school government school colleges stadium community hall water tank flyover bridge railway station and weather station water treatment plant also water distribution centers sewage treatment plant power plant airport even we are also uh, located a uh, mapping the drop location in every ward so uh, the whatever the rescue team easily find out where they are uh, food packets drop so and uh, whatever the vulnerable people they get this uh, facility easily this is a one world uh, actual scenario there is a 6 lakh q6 uh, water you can see that the, there is a red line in uh, tapi river but there is a 1.5 meter level that's a light uh, light uh, blue color is of much 7 lakh to 6 8 lakh to 6 almost all area of much also we uh, uh, given the information that which uh, if there is a ph1 ph 1.8 uh there is a me and mummy hospital where it is located address type of hospital who is the doctor who uh, and their contact numbers also how much uh, how many beds are there and then uh, let log so we are including all the information in a uh, ward map so any rescue team easily find out and uh, give it the best this all are included even we are uh, ward level lamp post marking we have done that uh, how much there is a uh, water release like uh, ukai dam release for like you said so then people know how their houses are under water so they can easily uh, get the gas uh, uh, inundation people communication system we are uh, establish uh, uh, flood warning siren 41 places in entire city uh, even how bridge level uh, there is a uh, the siren website mobile app information through the local channels fm radio and timely of uh, uh, at the time of heavy research so that's all thank you
the, what I'm going to speak about the introduction, the research questions. Uh, what is the existing early warning system in India? And uh, what are the technologies which we are currently using for communication as well as wind velocity measurement and the conclusions and the suggestions part of it. So uh, from this picture, uh, we come to know that uh, there is a lot of improvement in the early warning system and the lives are being saved. But what about the livelihoods of the people is the question now. The loss of life has decreased by a factor of 10. It has saved millions of lives over the years, but then the economic losses which have incurred over the past five decades is 50 times. So why do we need to look at the economic loss of the people? Uh, the most poor and the most vulnerable people uh, live in the vicinity, immediate vicinity of the sea, in the coastal areas, and these areas are prone to frequent cyclones. Now, what is the uh, gap which is there in the current early warning system in the uh, cyclone warning system in India? IMD is able to, uh, is, uh, at the current present system with the uh, Indian IMD is unable to measure the uh, accurate wind velocity and the time at which the landfall of the cyclone will occur. And uh, a web-based system for the communication of the information to the last mile is absent as well as the cyclone monitoring systems at the community level are not present. So what is an early warning system? An early warning system, it consists of these four components, which are risk awareness, monitoring and warning service, communication and response capability. The existing early warning system in India consists of monitoring and prediction, by the warning organization, and then the information is disseminated uh, to the uh, to, to the management to disaster management agencies. Then the public is educated, and then we have the post event review. So the communication system, uh, early warning system in India, uh, there are uh, CWC. The common man is informed through uh, CWC, which is the cyclone warning uh, dissemination system which is present at the block level and the taluk level. And from there, the information is passed by the government officials uh, to the common man. Whereas, uh, if you take in the case of Australia, as well as uh, the European countries, uh, the information system which is there, uh, they have the cell broadcast technology, where even a foreigner who enters into a particular region the message is directly sent to the mobile phone. When you switch on the uh, uh, the uh, weather forecast, uh, you immediately get the uh, warning uh, over your mobile phone. Whereas in our case, we still follow the SMS, uh, where the crowding of uh, and uh, disruption of uh, information trans dissemination occurs whenever the, there is a disaster. So uh, these systems which are present uh, can be uh, made and the mobile sets uh, have to be manufactured so that the, uh, the uh, inclusion of uh, weather information as an option is present. Uh, in cell broadcast technology, uh, there's no need for the identification of the subscriber. As Sir has already mentioned, too, in order to send an SMS, uh, you need the identification of a subscriber, whereas in the case of a cell broadcast technology, uh, there is no need. It's sent to a whole particular area, to a region, to all the members. Uh, even if there are tourists coming from the other countries, uh, even they, uh, they uh, uh, switch on this uh, um, option in their mobile phone, uh, they get the information regarding the warning information even if they are not subscribed. And uh, coming to the wind velocity measurement methods, the methods which are being followed by us are still numerical weather prediction, synoptic and statistical methods, satellite and radar observations. So since the army officials are there over here, uh, you must be knowing that uh, there are hurricane hunters which are flying to the uh, uh, northern uh, Pacific Ocean as well as the Atlantic Ocean where uh, drop zones are used to get the accurate wind velocity measurement, uh, you get the accurate speed uh, through uh, satellite as radar observations. Uh, we just get a forecast of it, whereas in this case, uh, people, air crews fly into the eye of the hurricane, and from there, you get the minimum pressure which is there, 
the maximum temperature and the maximum velocity. So in case uh, if the Indian government uh, can adapt this uh, technology, we can uh, make the uh, accurate uh, wind velocity measurement. So uh, the economic losses can be reduced and uh, if we have the accurate uh, velocity measurement as well as the dissemination is done directly to the last mile, then uh, the evacuation cost, which is a huge economic loss, which has already been mentioned, can be reduced to a very great extent. So hurricane hunters as well as a web-based system uh, for the uh, dissemination of the information is the need of the hour. Uh, which is not currently present with us. Uh, so the suggestion is, uh, although the technological advancements have happened, there is a need for all the organizations to work together, as well as uh, the people at the community level, they must be made aware. Uh, like yesterday in the plenary session, it was told that uh, the people are unwilling to evacuate. So education at the community level is also an important thing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, um, Divya, for your care. Uh, just for the information, let me mention that uh, there are uh, uh, more than a dozen buoys in the Bay of Bengal, which uh, measures the all the atmospheric parameters. Of course, not at the uh, top of the atmosphere, but at the ocean level, and uh, provides that data in real time to IMT. So all that data is being uh, I am uh, uh, Captain K.S. I am a helicopter pilot uh, and I have been uh, related to this uh, evacuation activities and uh, relief work since uh, uh, 19. So I can uh, tell you very confidently that the information that we are getting is never inaccurate. So that doubt should go away. IMT is a See, we are as Indians, we are too yes. odd by we are too odd by what foreigners do. Yes. I was very closely associated with an officer who has done this research, Hurricane Hunters, what you are saying. Okay, the purpose is not entirely this. Purpose is slightly different. Okay, but uh, we take forecast from IMD and we take constant updates in worst of the situation. Because I am a helicopter pilot, I operate away from places where information is not available. Now, even the forecasts up to three days later are so accurate that I can just close my eyes and depend on the eye. So, don't worry about the accuracy of information. The main uh, point which you also mentioned later, yesterday also it was mentioned, is convincing the people to move out. I am still working in Gujarat, I am doing the same work, I control all these, I am basically looking after helicopter operations in uh, that entire sector. So, recently floods were there, you won't believe Helicopter has sat on the ground, he is sitting there, gunner has gone out, he is asking people, Pani aara hai, aajau. nobody wants to come. Mm -hmm. They say, go away, you, if you have food packets, give us, otherwise you are scaring our uh, cattle away, you just go away, we don't want to come. The reason is, I don't blame them. When you are slightly secure, you are not aware of the danger that is coming behind you. You don't want to leave all that you have earned your entire life and go away. It's very difficult decision to take. I agree with that. But at the same time, uh, why I wanted to speak now itself was, there was a beautiful documentary yesterday uh, uh, before the uh, inauguration took place. There was a documentary shown. It had some beautiful clips. A person trying to walk, he's being rushed back. That sort of film, that sort of documentary should be made, shown to people. Maybe they should be broadcast on all the channels so that people are aware of what kind of force we are going to reckon with. 